Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. It's probably 2023, so uh, happy new year, but I actually got a comment from you guys last year. The fact that you wanted me to do a revamped version to see if Digital Storm was really still worth the hype, still worth the money, and do you even get good components with the amount of money that you're paying for it. Now, I'm going to only do basically the lowest grade, so this is going to be $999. Okay, so without further ado, we're on digitalstorm.com already. These are the gaming PCs. You have the Lynx, Lumos, Velux, Ventum, and we're going to want the Lynx. And as you guys can see, it's starting at $999. So we're going to go ahead and select this guy here. So obviously gaming on cap, it's beautiful pc this is probably the one that you're gonna get for probably the highest price that is available the reason i say that is because you can already see here that there's a liquid cooler in there liquid coolers are really nice especially for cpu it, it helps cool down the cpu and help the cpu remain at a very low temperature when handling so many threads at once but it comes at a price so and i can see that there's definitely a three series uh, gpu in here so let's just keep scrolling down okay yeah i mean that's normal all right so maximum performance what is a t-flop up to 260 t-flops compute power okay so we have the select model so we can do a custom order and uh, i would assume this is now where they're labeling the ready to ship so best sellers get the most bang out of your buck i kind of doubt that but anyways we're gonna go ahead and view the configurations for the 999 dollar one so this is budget friendly all right so essentially it's rated as good so first off this has a nvidia rtx 3050 a gigabyte well it's a three series and they all seem to have three series so it's definitely a really good gpu i have a 2070 and it does phenomenal so 30 series a gigabyte that's a better gpu than what i have it has 16 gigabytes of ddr4 ram that's really good i mean for pretty much what you guys are going to be doing it's maybe even a little bit overkill but reality is it's good 500 gigabytes of ssd storage that's actually really good for 999 dollars i mean that's before tags it's really good premium air cooler so i will say that an air cooler for a cpu is not necessarily the best thing to go with but it's also not the worst you obviously have liquid cooling again this is going with the price if you're gonna go with the liquid cooler for a cpu it's you're gonna be paying more for it it's obviously going to be better you don't get things as cool as fast and as cold with air just how it is the cpu is an intel core i3 1200 12100 f i couldn't speak there for a second i'm pretty sure i now nah, i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that is a an equal to a, a mid-grade i5 windows 11 yeah i mean that's good. Now, overall, what I'm seeing here, because I'm not going to go through every single one, like I said, but I can basically guess that, uh, actually, I'm trying to see level four. I think level four is the ultimate. Okay, so I will say this. My CPU is still better than the ultimate, but I will say it's got a better GPU. That's it. My PC is still better because I've put stuff into it. Now, for the ultimate question that I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, do I think Digital Storm is still worth it? No. I'll be honest with you. I think for the amount of, or I should say this first. If you are a new gamer who doesn't know how to build PCs, yes. That pre-build, the, the $999 one, I think is uh, very good for starting off. But if you're more advanced like myself or like many other people in this world, I definitely would say that Digital Storm is still one of those companies where you're spending too much to get little to nothing. It's not the best bang for your buck. Reality is, the cool thing about building a PC yourself, it, it may be hard, but you at least are able to pick out pieces for a cheaper price. So for instance, you could pick out name brand, you could pick out what brands you want, how, what prices are from each thing. So like Newegg has different prices. Um, I think there's, what is it called? Like the uh, mini mouse or something like that. No, it's called, what the, what the hell is that store called? You guys know the stores. That's all that matters. But anyways, you can definitely get something probably better for what you're paying here. But again, if you're a noob, you probably want to just buy that. But again, maybe get your friend, your families, or wh whoever knows how to build a PC and just go that way. That's it. That's all that I think about Digital Storm. And I probably will think that to the day I die unless they you know, maybe sponsor me at some point. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you soon. Happy New Year.